A lot of people come by and ask me when they see my lawn, how did I make it look like this? And there are a lot of things you kind of have to do to make it look like this, but the bottom line of the situation is you have to start cutting your grass shorter whether it's with a, with a rotary mower or a real mower. You just have to start cutting it lower. So here is my mower that I use, and I use this to go from long to short. You eventually just have to start bringing it down from four inches to one inch, and that can be accomplished with this mower. Over time, over the course of a month or two months, or even over the course of a summer, you have to get the height from tall to as short as your mower will go. That's the first tip of today, of going from tall to short. And I'll show you what it looks like in my backyard. So this is my backyard right here. And I have my rotary mower here. And I'm gonna be cutting this. I'm trying to get this down from about two inches to five eighths inch. And how you need to start, if you wanna start growing your grass short and maintaining it short, you have to go from tall to short and how you do that is you just have to use your rotary mower to work your grass down from three inches to two inches to, his, to its lowest setting. And so right here I have the long, the long grass right here that I mowed with my real mower about a week and a half ago. And right now it's about two inches in places, on average about an inch and a half. Um, I mow my grass very regularly so it I try not to let it get ahead of me, but the backyard is more a place for the kids and for my wife to enjoy, and so she doesn't like it if I maintain it and I'm crazy about the lawn like I am the front. So over here, I, rode, I mowed the grass at 5 8 inch about four days ago or so, and over here, it's about an inch and a half. So one of the first things you've gotta do if you wanna start maintaining your grass at a low mowing height is you've gotta work it down. The grass is not going to like it at first, and it's and it's going to be shocked, and it's going to look yellowy and not so good, but eventually the grass will get used to that mowing height, and you can work your grass down to a low, mudding, low mowing height. Kentucky bluegrass generally handles this kind of lowing, low mowing heights a lot better than, say, a tall fescue. Perennial ryegrass and Kentucky bluegrass are the two um, grasses that I would recommend if you want to start cutting at a low mowing height. If you have tall fescue, that does a lot better in the taller mowing height. I do have a little bit of tall fescue over here that I threw in at some point in time, just threw it out and it kind of grew and I don't really like that grass, but this is perennial ryegrass and Kentucky bluegrass. I just so when you're trying to go low, I recommend using the bag on the mower. You've got to pick up all the clippings and get the dead material out and get it removed. I'm more so a, a bag mower kind of guy. I know a lot of people like to mulch and I like to mulch too, but when I'm trying to get the grass from tall to short, you got to mow and get the clippings out of your way and you've got to kind of get that dead material out. And if that's material, it's got to be gone. You've got to use the bag. <laughs> This is what the lawn looks like after I've mowed with my rotary mower set at the lowest setting. So with you, you're gonna get stuff like this. See this little round thing? These are little donuts. You're gonna get that if your lawn's not super flat. The wheels kind of dip down and cause these yellowing spots. So if you can see here on the left, I've mowed with my real mower about four days ago. And then here on the right, I just mowed it just barely with the rotary mower. And you can see some of this, this yellowing right through here. And that's going to happen when you start going from tall to short quite a bit because your grass isn't used to it. So it kind of cuts down into this kind of crown area. And so this right here is some of the yellow spots right here. And if you look really close, see the grass is, has this yellow tinge to it. And it's kind of ripped actually. It looks to me kind of like the... the um, blades need to be sharpened a bit but when you start cutting down in you have this layer of thatch 
or crown or roots that's, that kind of live up above the surface of the soil that you're gonna be cutting down into. And you have to get that thatch layer either out mechanically or with a lawnmower or with a thatch machine or with a rake. You've gotta get that layer down close to the ground and out because you, you can't have that layer because that's what causes that yellowing. My grass is used to this, so it doesn't look as bad as it did at first when I first started doing this, going from tall to short. But there's the cut line. If you can see, it's, it's fairly long right there, probably cutting off at least an inch, if not more than that, which is breaking the one th third rule, and that could be why it's so yellow, yellow looking. But the secret to going from tall to short is having a flat lawn. You cannot have a lot of dips and bumps in there because your mower will slide down into the bumps. So the mower will, the mower wheels will go down into the bumps and cause these donuts, these round little circles with your rotary mower and it looks kind of bad. So here is the lawn after I finished rotary mowing from about two inches to one inch. So I've got over here some yellowing areas and it's kind of yellowish in general all throughout. And that's kind of how it goes when you cut off a, a lot of your lawn. You kind of cut off all the green area and kind of cut it down into the root zone, which kind of lives up above the surface of the soil. So that's the first tip I have for you for taking your lawn from four inches to under an inch. You've got to bring the height of the mower down ever so slightly and you've just got to suck it up and bring it down. It's going to look a little bad at first, but you just got to do it.